Girl land. ABC Girl ABC land. Girl land. All right. Good day, everyone. Today we'll be treating why by 2019 question 11 to 20. Please, if you are new here, click the red subscribe button and also click the notification bell because I'll be uploading more videos that will help you to prepare for your YK this year. Even all other subjects that I would like, mathematics and all others. You can also invite your friends that, that you know that they are serious to join us so that they will also gain more. Question number 11. The earth can beat continuously without being fatigued because it is composed of A. Skeletal muscles, B. Smooth muscles, C. Cardiac muscles. D. Renal muscles. I want to tell you that in this very question, what you are trying to test is what? Your knowledge of muscles. And I want to tell you that we have three types of muscles. That is the skeletal muscles, the smooth muscles, and the cardiac muscles. To answer this question very well, we'll be talking about these types of muscles, their functions, I will compare them, and also talk about the connective tissues. Like, if you want to connect muscle to bone, bone muscle to muscle, bone to bone, so that you will do what? You will understand more things and we'll pick our answer and get right to the next question. I would even like to ask you that do you know that this it is this very muscle that we eat as our meat? Okay, I will talk about this in seconds. Option A says skeletal muscles, right? Now, I would like to tell you that what? this skeletal muscle can also be called stripe muscle, it can also be called voluntary muscle. This skeletal muscle is called voluntary muscle because it is controlled under way. I tell you, if you want to contract and what and relax this very muscle, it is done with we. You can't tell me that. You can't tell me that. Why pulling your legs? Why pushing your legs? Why dragging your legs? Why rolling? Eh? Why throwing objects? Why opening and closing your mouth? Some of the things that we do, lifting and carrying weight, you can't tell me that what? You don't really know about it. You can't tell me that it's subconsciously. So that's the very thing that what this voluntary muscle does. It, it, it does what? It, it does things that what? That, that, that comes from will. It's your will for it to work. So that's, that's just it. And the reason why it is called skeletal muscle is because what? It is what? It is attached to the bones. And for you to understand this very well, this very muscle, these muscles, they cover our body, making it possible for us to walk pulling, pushing, dragging, and rolling things. So now, I would like to tell you that this skeletal muscle receives its nerve supply from the central nervous system. Now, the second type of muscle I will talk about is the smooth muscle. And talking about this smooth muscle, it has another name called unstriped muscle. You can also call it involuntary muscle. So just note that. And this very muscle is found in what in the urinary bladder it is found in the genetic uh, gen genital tracts it is found in the wall of the bronchioles so just note that when we are talking about a smooth muscle i would like to add that it's made up of what long narrow spindle shaped fibers and these very fibers let me just bring a one out of these fibers because you should understand that a muscle is what is a tissue so bringing one out of this fiber is telling you really that what it's a cell if that fiber is a cell because a lot of cells comes a lot of cells come together to form what to form tissue so this very fiber now that's what you can see on the screen right now so it has nucleus inside it myofibrils and some other things that make it a cell so now as we've talked about that you know i talked about this smooth muscle being an involuntary muscle so I want to tell you now that what the reason why it is involuntary is that what it is done without that you don't need to to uh, to control it with will no 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 you can't it's 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 uncontrollable the actions that is being performed is uncontrollable you can't tell me that what you can control the things that the, the muscle that what that is in your urinary bladder you can't tell me that you can control the muscle that is what in your genital traits in your in the wall of the bronchioles no you can't control this. So that's just it. So let's move towards to the last one. That's cardiac muscle. When we are talking about this cardiac muscle, is what is also called heart muscle. This is another name that you can call it. You can also be asked things like this. So please try to just things things like this out and try to know it. It's simple. Don't cram, please. Just try to understand it because that's the best way to learn. Because it is found in the walls of the heart. That's why it is called heart muscle. 
it is an intermediate between these words skeletal muscle that i talked about before and i was telling you that this skeletal muscle is also called voluntary muscle striped muscle it's an intermediate between that very muscle and what involuntary muscle that i just talked about now smooth muscle involuntary muscle in structure it looks like a voluntary muscle when, 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 when we are talking about the action because the action of this cardiac muscle in the heart is what is very is rapid let me just uh, say it like that it's rapid why but it doesn't look like voluntary muscle in this aspect because it is not easily fatigued why when you're talking about voluntary muscle you see that what yeah it, it's easily fatigued but in this very cardiac muscle is not easily fatigued another thing you should note about this cardiac muscle is that what it contracts and relaxes without stop throughout the life of that animal with this explanation i think you should know that what it is cardiac muscle because what the question is that what the heart can beat continuously without being fatigued because it is composed of what that's the cardiac muscles now back to the question i asked before i was telling you that do you know that it, uh, the meat you eat is the muscle of an animal okay now let me now explain how this conversion takes place now, when i'm talking about this conversion you know normally in a muscle you know normally in a muscle the blood is responsible for for the bringing of like it brings oxygen to the muscle why it's uh, this same blood takes out what uh takes out waste materials waste products from this muscle it takes it out so when you know that when you kill an animal in that very time the act will stop what it stop beating and what the circulation of blood will stop at as well and you know the first thing we do if you if you kill an animal or it, it dies the 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 blood will what will, will dry off will be it will be collected and all that anywhere they want to kill an animal and all that anywhere they want to kill animals the first thing is that what they will collect the blood so in this process blood blood will not be able to do what to carry oxygen to the very uh, muscle again and um, it can't be able to do what to take out uh, what would I call it? This very, very waste material from the what? From the muscle. Are you, are you are you following it? So I want to now tell you that during this process, even though the animal has already died, but I tell you, this muscle doesn't die. Muscle will still be there. They don't die at all. So they will still be doing, uh, carrying out their their processes as they do it, as they do it before they will be carrying it out. So, but the changes now is that what the way the muscle break breaks down. This very energy will change and it, it will begin to rot to produce lactic acid and this it is this same lactic acid that i was talking about in the muscle of an athlete that that, 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 that made that causes um fatigue in the body of an athlete you can check the video at, 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 at the top here right here click that video to watch it where i talked about number three i, I solved question number three to, to what to question number 10 of this very 2019 here you would see in uh, in um question number 10 i talked about this very uh muscle of an athlete the late uh, the lactic acid formation so you can just check through that that video so it will help you a lot so now coming back to this very uh, uh the very thing i was uh, i was talking about before i talked about the, 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 the this question you know at this very lactic acid this very lactic acid will, will, will what would continue to this muscle would continue to do what to produce lactic acid lactic acid and you know as it produces lactic acid as it produces lactic acid this lactic acid would what will not be taken out because there is no blood to do what to take this out uh, this very lactic acid out of it is a waste of product to take this very lactic acid out of the muscle to do what to the liver but there is no blood to take this out so when there is no blood for this uh, lactic acid to be taken out it will what it will keep on building on the on the what on the muscle so you keep on staying around this muscle on this muscle you keep on staying on this muscle and normally the ph the ph of of what of a muscle of muscle is what is around seven but because of the the, the, the lactic acid formation in this muscle it what the, the ph will drop the ph will drop because of the presence of lactic acid in muscle you know this very muscle is what is associated with bones so to give shape to the body because this very uh, muscle is associated with what the bones this very bones uh, the acid will react this very acid that is inside the muscle will react with the bones that is attached to the muscle will react with it and uh, after the reaction 
this very acid will make the the bone to release calcium so the calcium will be released into the what into the muscle when the calcium is being released into the muscle it will make this very muscle to do what to contract that contraction will be one it will be half or one over three of its original length so it is if it, it, it is when the, this very muscle would need what would need energy its energy to do what to relax to its original original length back it will use this is very energy to what to relax to its, its original length this very process will what would continue the muscle would continue to what to contract and what it will use its energy to what to do what to relax it, it, will, it will come to a time that what there wouldn't be any energy again for the for this very muscle to do what to relax again so this is the very uh, the, the very time that what you realize that what this very muscle would what will steven when it steeps then it, it doesn't carry it, it, it can't what it can't contract and it can't what it can't as well what it can't as well relax again i want to tell you this that when uh, any muscle anything like muscle is is contracting contracting it doesn't use it doesn't use what it doesn't use energy to contract it doesn't use energy to what to reduce its length to like half or one over three but when, when you're talking about relaxing when you're using your muscle and all that it applies to muscle when you're, when you're not talking about muscle when it's when any muscle is what it's relaxing eh? when it's relaxed that's that's the very time what it uses energy so that's the very time it uses energy and it, it will relax and all that to the extent that what it won't be able to relax again so it's what it will now steve it will steve it is it, 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 it very hard so in this very process you will see that what it has it has actually turned to meat and it, uh, because of cooking because of cooking and all that if you if you check this very if you check the pH of this very meat you realize that what it is 5.5 you know the meat the, the, the life muscle is seven as i as i said earlier the pH of a life a, a life muscle is what is seven but now checking it after the, the after after it, it has turned to meat and all that you will see that what it is what 5.5 this very process could be uh, just a couple of hours this very process could take just uh, around one day and all that but it's what that's how our, our muscle is what is being broken down into what into meat it is this very ph that is responsible for the flavor of our meat i hope this is clear for timestamps to go through this video 12 number 13 number 14 number 15 and all that if you've already known one question just jump to that question you can check the description section for timestamps let me now tell you some things about mozu before what before we actually move to this next question it accounts for 40 percent of the total body weight of a mama when i'm talking about the mama it's 40 percent so you just be asked and and what it has some five percent of water that's what what is inside the muscle some five percent of water and it cons consists of what of protein that's actin and uh, myosin it has fat it has glycogen it has mineral salts atp and phosphagen so please note this i also said i will talk about the connective tissue so now when you're talking about the connective tissue if you want to connect muscle to bone it is what it's connected through tendon if you want to connect the muscle to muscle it's connected to what Fascia, fascia. When you are talking about bone to bone, it is not ligament. And I tell you, these tendons are incredi in incredibly what strong and they what they are stiff. Please try to note all this because you could just be asked. Talking about the skeletal, so I want to compare them now. I want to compare them now. So as you can see, you're talking about the skeletal. The skeletal is what. The skeletal is what is voluntarily. The skeletal here is what. Is voluntarily the cardiac is what cardiac i'm sorry cardiac is what is non-stop is non-stop as you can see here it doesn't stop throughout life it's what it continues to do what it continues to do what? to contract and what relax it doesn't stop throughout life so talking about smooth smooth what smooth is what non-voluntarily talking about their movement as well the movement um, it is rapid. Skeletal is rapid. That skeletal uh, muscle is rapid. Uh, cardi cardi cardiac also is what is rapid. And what this smooth is what is slow. So note that. Um, talking about fatigue, it's what uh, this skeletal is what easily fatigued. Why what cardiac uh, cardiac 
and what smooth is what is not is not easily fatigued. Question number 12 of Biology 2019 Objective Test. The products of tissue respiration are glucose, A, glucose, oxygen, and water, B, oxygen, water, and energy, C, glucose, carbon dioxide, and energy, D, water, carbon dioxide, and energy. I want you to understand this that all living organisms require energy to do work. Actually, we, re we all require energy to do work. But this energy is inside our food molecule. And the energy that is inside this very food molecule is what? Is called potential energy at a particular time. Is what? Called the potential energy. Is what? Is energy that is at rest. But what? This potential energy, what? Can only be used for work when it has been converted into what? Kinetic energy. So, in this very process, we need what? What we call cellular respiration to come in. We need what we call internal or tissue respiration to come in. So, that's where we work. That's when this very what this very reaction is very necessary. That's when it's what it's necessary. So talking about this, the product of tissue respiration, you know, this is the formula. The product of tissue respiration, uh, as you've seen here, that what uh, glucose and water what would what will react to give us what in, in this very in this very reaction would react to give us what would give us what carbon dioxide and what water plus what energy. You've already seen it here. So the product of this tissue respiration here is already seen. This is it. This is what carbon dioxide. So note it: carbon dioxide, water, and what energy. So if you look at it very well, you will see that this is question D. Uh, it is option D that what that has this very answer: water, carbon dioxide, and energy. I think I need to stop here for today, but I will upload the next series as soon as possible. Please, if you've not subscribed. Please click the subscribe button and also click the notification bell so that you will get notified instantly when I upload those videos and you'll be able to watch them and what benefit benefits greatly from this channel. Please, I'm very sorry for those that I promised because I promised this video uh, even uh, even till twenty uh, or Monday. I said I will publish it on Monday, but I could not do that because of some things. I'm very sorry. I'm very very sorry. This would not repeat itself again. I will try to upload frequent videos nowadays so that it will help you to what, to prep for your exams. Click and watch the video you can see on the screen right now for detailed explanation of question number 3 to question number 10 of Biology 2019 Objective Test. Don't forget to invite your friends if they are serious. Don't also forget to like this video because it motivates us, it encourages us to do more. On this positive note, I end this video.